Hey friends! I wanted to do an experiment with you today because this week we have our theme of pet week, right? So I want to do an experiment about fish. Now, do you remember last week we did an experiment during circle time with Miss Lauren? We talked about which objects float and sink. Do you remember what those words mean? So if something sinks, it goes to the bottom, right? And if something floats, it stays on top. Let's try it really quick so we can remember. Do you think this blue chip is going to sink or float? Hmm. It went to the bottom, did you see? So does that mean it sank to the bottom or it floated on top? It sank to the bottom. Now let's try with the plastic cap. Do you think this is going to sink or float? Let's see. It's on top, do you see? So did this sink to the bottom or float on top? It floats on top. Now, do you think fish sink to the bottom of the water, float to the top of the water, or stay somewhere in the middle? Let's see. These fish, are they all on top, at the bottom, or in the middle? They're swimming in the middle. When you go swimming, do you swim on top, at the bottom, or in the middle? When I swim, I usually stay on top. But why do you think fish stay in the middle? We're going to find out. So for this experiment, you need a plastic bottle of water, one that you can squeeze. You also need some water. And you need something to put the water into the bottle with. You can use a pitcher or a funnel. Pouring water can get really messy. So maybe you could do this in the sink or in the shower, but make sure you ask your mom and dad first. We don't want to make a mess. You also need a packet. I've seen people use ketchup packets, but I don't have a ketchup packet. I have mustard or soy sauce. So if the packet is going to be our fish, we need something that has a bubble in it. Which one has a bubble? Let's test them. So if it's the one we want to use, it needs to float to the top at the beginning. Hmm. This one is doing okay, but I think we can do better. There we go. This one is partially in the water and partially on top with a big bubble. Now, we need to put it into our water bottle. Next, we need to fill the water bottle up with water. Try to get it really close to the top, somewhere around here where this band is. Make sure you pour slowly or you can make a big mess.
there we go. Now, you need to put the top onto the water bottle and twist. To make sure it's completely closed, ask your mom or dad to double check. Okay, so now, does the soy sauce stay at the top or float to the bottom? It's staying at the top. So now what we need to do is we need to squeeze it really, really hard and see what happens. Okay, are you ready? Now, watch the packet. Oof. What happened? Is it at the top or the bottom? It went to the bottom. And when I let go, it came back to the top. Do you wanna know why? So like this packet, fish have a bubble of air in them. It's called a swim bladder or an air bladder, but you need to know that it's like a bubble and bubbles are filled with air. So when you squeeze it, the bubble gets a little bit smaller and it sinks. And when you let go, it gets a bit bigger and it floats again. Try it at home.